As the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on peoples and countries across the world continues, the Enra International Culture Summit has taken the difficult decision that its fifth edition, planned to happen this August here at the Scottish Parliament, cannot proceed as originally planned. The summit partners, the British Council, the Enra International Festival, the Scottish Parliament, the Scottish Government and the United Kingdom Government all continue to advocate strongly for the power of culture to unite peoples and to transform lives and societies even in the most difficult and challenging of circumstances. Which is why I am delighted to announce a special edition of the summit to be launched and available free online from Saturday the 22nd of August. While we cannot gather in person, we invite you to travel with us around the world, courtesy of the wonders of digital technology. Join us as we journey from the Kum Mela Festival on the banks of the River Ganges to the Alazar Park in Cairo. We visit a dance company in Brazil and youth orchestras in Scotland and Los Angeles. We travel from Washington's Library of Congress to London's Victoria and Albert Museum. We hear the voices of Trojan women echoed in Syrian refugees now living in Glasgow and are reminded that art endures beyond the moment and circumstances of its creation. Culture enables us to understand our world. It helps us all to understand and appreciate each other, our similarities and our differences. So at a time when a physical embrace might be dangerous, we propose to embrace a world of creative potential. When the global impact of decades of normal economic and social behaviour is being so abruptly overturned, this special edition of the Enver Culture Summit will consider what ideas and perspectives embedded in all of our cultures can help take us beyond our current predicament. Our present circumstances call for humility and tact. This is a time for thoughtful recalibration of our most fundamental beliefs and aspirations. I invite you to join us this August as we hear from artists, economists, architects, scientists, philanthropists and ministers of culture, all sharing inspiring ideas and practical policies for reimagining our futures and unlocking the transformational power of culture.